So the boys, the boys, arguably the biggest K-pop band in history. I think that's that's a fair shout. I know some people would say Shiny, Big Bang. I think BTS probably biggest K-pop band in history. Social media stars, starlets. I mean, they've really blown up over the last couple of years. And you. N ambassadors. It's pretty pretty crazy how much they've done in such a small amount of time. Whatever you think about the UN, it's a it's a big honor. You know, some people think it's a bit of a shady organization. I tend to be indifferent to it. Some things they do are good. It's very bureaucratic and very uh... yeah. There are other things I don't like about it, but it is a big honor to be able to have such a big influence over a lot of people, specifically young people. So this is their global campaign video for Love Myself. Now, obviously, it's a great message. It's, you know, you do you and just enjoy yourself. Don't don't let other people bring you down too much. So, so let's get to this. I agree with it. I love it. I love myself in certain ways. A couple times a week. Really, really do. <laughs> so let's get to this video. Let's go. Pink hair, it does suit him. I love it. Oh, they're bullying. Uh, they bloodied him up. Like, guys, it's a. Uh. John Gook died is here. Choose respect, choose res choose kindness. Yeah. Hmm. It was for UNICEF, yeah. I thought it was just it's, it's what they do. Um It was a it was a meaningful video, you know, it had something to say. Which is good, you know. Obviously we want the world to to be less uh Violent we want less war and all this type of stuff, which I definitely agree with but I have a Probably controversial View on bullying Yes controversial to say the least I I think bullying is a bad thing, okay, but in a way I think it's almost necessary for kids it's tough, you know, it's not easy, been through the ringer, but I think that it is a immediate way that a young person faces obstacles, that they face challenges, it builds character, it thickens your skin a lot. And while I wish it, it didn't happen and it didn't have to be there for, for anyone, I think that it is almost a necessary evil to actually help build someone into a human being and, and create the person they are. Now, 
thankfully, my parents raised me in a certain way. There were sticks, there were pans, there were pots. Uh, and, and I think the way that they brought me up was that when I did get faced with bullies, and they came for a long time before I got yoked, you know, uh, they came for a long time, lasted a very long time through school. None of that actually had any lasting effect on me, thankfully. Because it was like, I don't really care what you do to me, genuinely. I'd be annoyed, but it wouldn't have any long-term effect. And I, I guess I thank my parents for doing what they did when I was a kid, because it actually built me to actually, to, to not give a shit what other people do to me, in a way. Probably there's some mental psychosis problem with me, you know, psychological problem, which is fine. I probably agree to that. I'd, uh, I'd subscribe to that theory. But I think that in an odd way, bullying is... For some people, it will build them up. And for other people, it will just absolutely break them, which is why it's a, it's a tough thing to say that bullying is good, because I don't think I've said that. But I think it, it will help some people navigate the world when they're older. And I think people who sometimes haven't actually experienced that when they get to adulthood and they do come to come to conflict with people, they won't know how to handle it as well. I don't know. I don't know. I've, I, I may have said before on on the channel there was this one time this was only a couple of weeks ago now maybe a four week three four weeks ago i was somewhere and uh, getting a coffee and there was this odd scenario going on and this guy was uh berating this woman and i got up and and did something about it which is probably out of character for most people i'd say it's even out of character for me and and I feel if I hadn't actually been through the life I'd been through and and done what I had done and experienced what I experienced, what I'd experienced, I probably wouldn't have got up and stopped it. Almost going through the bullying and going through the shit that's happened. And I've lived a blessed life. I'm not going to say I haven't. But it, it made me want to do something there to help that person who I could help or could potentially help. Which is why I like the thing at the end there where the guy came and helped the other kid up. That's, I 100% support that. Like, if you can help someone, go and help them. But I don't think that is completely independent of saying that sometimes someone needs to face challenges on their own. I don't know. I don't know, it's a, it's a tough situation. I'm sure there are a lot of people who won't agree with me at all, which is fine. You know, it's a controversial topic. It's a, it's a hard-hitting topic, and it's affected a lot of people in a lot of different ways. And some people never get over the bullying that goes get, gets, uh, gets thrown on them in high school or in college or wherever. And that is really, really unfortunate. But that, that thing at the end there, if you, which is the way I see it, if you can help someone, help someone. And maybe it's you helping someone that will encourage someone who's been bullied to help someone else in the future. I don't know, it's sort of like a full circle. It's a full circle type scenario, you know? I suppose people say that bullies sometimes are people who've been bullied before as well. So it's there's like a, a lot of shit going on with this type of stuff. But regardless of that, I think that the video itself was heartwarming to say the least and this is the message that the guys put forward it's one that i agree with you know the world should be full of love and you should help someone where you can help i i yeah there we go i will say that i support that idea and thought process two thousand percent which is 20 times 100 percent. it's a lot um <laughs> So yeah, good good on you lads. Keep doing what you're doing. You know, you're doing good for a lot of people. I'm sure if I was a 15-year-old girl or like a 17-year-old guy, I don't know. I think I'd probably look to your stuff a lot more than I do even now for inspiration, for support. You know, I, f I feel that you do do that and you are that shoulder to, 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 to cry on almost for potentially tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of young people. So I give you a clap. Genuine, genuine, well done. Thank you for doing what you do. You've probably saved a lot of people's lives. You probably have. That's, that's really something.
you can't really ask for more than that. You've impacted the world in a positive way, guys. Yeah. Crazy. Anyway, guys. If you did enjoy this video, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel down there. If you didn't, if you didn't, then just subscribe anyway. That would be great. Don't feel like a break in the mood like that. Yeah, just subscribe. Now I've been original the comic. You've been great. And I'll see you next time. Skadoosh. Oh, wow.